you all for having me. Uh, so the first thing I want to say to you all is, so what advice would I give you all um, to set yourself apart from others in the workplace uh, or in, in, and or in the healthcare field? And I've got just a couple of points that I just kind of want to go over. Um, so just bear with me, okay? The first thing that I would say is be dependable, okay? If you're scheduled to work, please show up to work. It's very important in whatever kind of healthcare arena that you're in. Everybody depends on you. The patients depend on you. The, your coworkers depend on you, and so forth. So, it's, and, and other departments depend on you. So, I would encourage you if you're scheduled to work, please show up. Okay. Second thing is communication. I know you all, have students, have heard over and over about communication, effective communication, and what that entails. Uh, believe it or not, sometimes just picking up the phone and calling or even going and seeing somebody in person rather than sending a text. You know, because we've all had cell phones and we're in the technology age, so sometimes it's better just to pick up the phone or go see your manager, your supervisor, department director, whoever you have questions with. Uh, and make sure that you all under make sure that you understand what the what the need is and what they need you to do. So communicate and communicate effectively. I know y'all heard that over and over and over, but it's basic, but you know, this day and time Sometimes people just do not communicate effectively. Third would be flex to be flexible. Uh, depending on what kind of healthcare field you're in, if you're in nursing, respiratory, paramedics, or whatever, you know, you're going to be asked to do things at times when you're not really for sure about it, and you're like, mm, I don't know if I really want to do that. But you've got to be flexible, and you've got to be able to uh, be willing to learn, watch, and do other things, and put other skills underneath the belt, per se. The fourth thing is ask questions. You've got to ask questions. Nobody in the workplace uh, knows everything. So you've got, to, you've got to know yourself well enough to be able to ask questions, okay? And it's okay. There's never a stupid question. Be trustworthy. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, then follow up with that and do that. If you're not able to, then again, communicate that. Uh, with whomever you're speaking to or whatever that communication is. And then always do the right thing when nobody's looking. Uh, and that entails integrity. So, you know, sometimes you know you're, you're going to do something and you're like, mm, I'm not really sure if I should do that. But in your heart of hearts, you know that you need to do the right thing when nobody's watching. Okay? All right, so that kind of leads me over into the things that, uh, as an uh, employee, what I want to see from a coworker. Say. And they kind of coincide, uh, but there are a few different things that I wanted just to point out. I talked about dependability, and again, uh, that goes back to, you know, if, if you're working a shift, if you have to not be there for whatever reason, just know that your coworkers um, are going to have to pick up that extra workload, okay? Not that they don't mind to, but just keep that in mind, because everybody depends on you to be there. Um, we talk, I talked about I talked about uh, asking questions again. You know, I hear I, I do new employee orientation, and I hear people say, well, "I got a question, but I, I think it's you know a, a stupid question." There's never a stupid question because I guarantee you, if you're wanting to ask it, somebody else is thinking it. Okay, so ask questions. Um, if you're assigned a certain amount of workload or whatever your work is that day, you, you know, just get it done. <laughs> You know, everybody has tasks, everybody has things they do. You're assigned that job for a specific reason. So just get it done in a timely manner. Again, uh, be, be trustworthy. I, you know, I, I can't say that enough. If you say you're going to do something, then you need to follow up with that. And last but not least, you've got to have a little fun, okay? You know, we spend a lot of our lives at work. You've got to have fun with the exception that it is at the appropriate time. Because sometimes it's not appropriate to be laughing and cutting up or whatever. But you got to have a little fun. So, And that is, I guess, all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you all.